Hello friends, in this lesson we are going to learn how to compare rate of interest when you are depositing money. Which bank is good for deposit? Let's take our same example. Sukram is a farmer. He has he had a good crop. He wants to deposit 10,000 rupees as fixed deposit in the bank for one year. This is his surplus money, the extra money. He says I am going to deposit in the bank and bank can give me an interest so my money increases, right? So he approaches two banks and says, I want to deposit 10,000 rupees. Bank one says, great, we'll you deposit with us, we'll give you 8% rate for your fixed deposit. Bank two says 10%. Which one Sukram should use? The lesser one or more one? He's depositing money. What is your goal when you deposit the money? You get more interest back from the bank. Your money increases. When you're taking loan, your goal is reverse. You, you look for bank where you have to repay lesser. So now let's try to find out how much money we are going to get if we deposit money into bank one. Principal is 10,000. Bank is giving us a rate of 8% per annum and time for deposit is one year. Using the simple interest formula PRT by 100, we calculate 10,000 into 8 by 1 into 100 is going to be these two zero gets cancelled so 100 into 8 which is 800 rupees so bank is giving Sukram 800 rupees extra so Sukram is going to receive 10,000 which is the initial value plus 800 10,800 rupees back from bank one after one year and in case of bank two principal remains the same that is the money which Sukram is depositing Rate of interest which the bank is offering is 10% per annum. That previous bank was 8% per annum. This is 10% per annum, which is 10 rupees for every 100 rupees. The bank is going to return extra after one year. Time for deposit is same, one year. Simple interest, we can calculate by PRT by 100, 10,000 multiplied by 10 rate of interest multiplied by 1 by 100. 100 into 10, which is equal to 1000 rupees so the amount received by Sukram from bank 2 will be 10,000 plus 1000 which is the interest which is equal to 11,000 rupees so which one should he choose of course the bank which is giving him more money back so bank 2 is good for the deposit because here he is putting 10,000 rupees he is getting 11,000 back bank 1 is giving him 10,800 rupees back. Only 800 rupees extra he is giving. He is giving 1,000 rupees extra. So you should choose the one which is giving you more, right? So in case of deposit, remember children, look for the bank which is giving you more rate of interest for the same terms when you are depositing the money. So that you earn more money. When you are depositing, what is your goal? Why did Sukram put the money in the bank? So that his money increases from 10,000 to 11,000. So try to increase it by looking for bank which is giving you more rate of interest. And when you are taking loan, your goal should be reverse. You should look for bank which is giving you lesser rate of interest for the same term. That's all in this lesson children. Bye-bye.